Call of Duty Endowment supports American veteran success and job placement. That's the headline. I wanted to jump into it with you. So please hit the thumbs up, subscribe, share with a friend, all that good stuff. Truly appreciate it. All right, so there's a sub headline here. Military appreciation and help for Americans veterans lasts all year long from Call of Duty Endowment. That's my rooster in the background. If you can hear him, his name is Stan, and sometimes he likes to chime in. All right, jumping back into it here. The wildly popular Call of Duty video game made by Activision uh, Blizzard is raising the stakes again with an intersection of the company's Call of Duty endowment plus Military Appreciation Month, which lasts through the month of May. Thank you, Stan, my rooster, who's on the other side of the wall here yelling. All right. And the f and to further the mission all year long, a large donation was presented in recent days to support the Call of Duty endowment. Kenneth Griffin, founder and CEO of C Citadel uh, and founder of Griffin Catalyst, donated $2.5 million to the endowment it announced. The donation is the largest single private donation in the endowment's 15-year history, a press release noted. A dona uh, the donation will support the placement of more than 4,000 veterans into high-paying jobs. What are the... Um, what so what is the call of duty endowment well let's jump into it a little bit further here so the call of duty endowment helps veterans find high quality careers by supporting groups that prepare them for the job market and by raising awareness of the value vets bring to the workplace los angeles based helen helen something helen imperial senior director call of duty endowment told fox news digital via email uh, we do this by funding the most efficient and effective veteran support organizations that get unemployed and underemployed veterans back to work, she said. I love the fact that they added in there underemployed because there are many, many, many veterans out there that aren't, uh, aren't at the level they should be um, and they need that uh, little bit of a guidance to get them into the appropriate uh, job and get them fully uh, employed with their skill sets. So uh, the next quotation here, our unique accountability-based donation model, our seal of distinction program ensures we only support the highest performing nonprofits that place vets in good jobs. The Call of Duty Endowment is a 501c3 nonprofit organization supported by Activision Blizzard. The endowment was Fund, uh, was founded to give back meaningful to the real-life heroes who inspire Activision's game, Call of Duty, said Imperial. Call of Duty is one of the world's largest entertainment brands played by millions of people around the world. To date, Imperial reported that Activision Blizzard has donated more than $40 million to the endowment. She noted, it has successfully placed over 125,000 veterans into high-paying jobs through, uh, through more than $73 million in grants. Activision Blizzard covers all the endowment's operating costs, she said. Every cent we raise goes directly to putting veterans in jobs. It's incredibly rare for a nonprofit to have this advantage in its mission. Uh, Imperial said. That's fantastic. True Appreciation Military Appreciation Month goes well beyond just one day devoted to military or veterans, Imperial also said. It's been spanning the entire month of May. One day is simply not long enough to show our true appreciation, she said. With regard to the role of the endowment and veteran support, she said, the mission is clear. As a company, we dedicate our talents and resources to providing new in-game content that both entertainers and educators call, uh, or that both entertainers, that both entertains and educates our Call of Duty community about our mission to help those who have served. She said, each. May during military during military appreciation month the endowment strives to raise awareness and funds to help more veterans find the jobs they deserve this year the endowment will be launching the you assist veterans UAV challenge said imperial the in-game challenge is based on the use of UAVs 
kind of funny UAVs, but it's you assist veterans, not not actually a UAV. Um, so within Call of Duty, which uh, which so it's a play on acronym, which is awesome. I love it. Which reveal the enemy locations and help players navigate their next move. She noted. Similarly, veterans rely on the endowment to help navigate their career search. Additionally, she noted the introduction of two new in-game bundles, the Call of Duty Endowment Code, Night Recon, uh, Tracer Pack, and Code Regular uh, Regulator Pack, uh, with proceeds going directly to putting veterans back to work. Though both our in-game packs and the You Assist Veterans Challenge uh, our hope is to raise is to raise millions of dollars to place thousands of veterans into high quality jobs. She said, when re-entering civilian life, Imperial noted that veterans are three times more likely to land a meaningful job if they obtain professional help with resume writing and interview skills. I agree. Um, it's hard to translate what you did and what uh, what you can bring as far as an impact is concerned to a company when you're moving from the military into the civilian sector. It's hard to articulate it. And I'll tell you one thing that veterans are really good at. It's downplaying what we've done or or. Uh, you know what what we've been exposed to from leadership act aspects training um, all of that type of stuff we, we downplay it all right so uh, somebody else always had to do more or somebody else you know had had to do more things so you're, you're always saying you know that, that somebody else took on the challenge and, and you you shortchange yourself sometimes so I agree uh, having that professional help with resume writing uh, would be instrumental all right, so let's uh, jump a little bit further into this, and we will wrap it up. Uh, she added uh, that they should never pay for these services, they as in veterans, as we provide them for free through our grantees. Anyone can learn more about the Call of Duty Endowment at the www.callofdutyendo, E-N-D-O. And uh, I believe it's a, it doesn't have it. I'm assuming it's a .com. And so with that, that concludes it. Uh, I, I really think that this is a, uh, a great thing. Now, the Call of Duty Endowment, um, search that online on Google. And I'm assuming that you'll be able to find the grantees, uh, the nonprofits that are benefiting from the uh, pass-through funds to help veterans find their jobs. Uh, so that would be my first guess. I'm going to do that too here real quick. All right, I found it. So it's callofdutyendowment.org. So callofdutyendowment.org. There's a lot of great information on that website. So please check that out, and I will try to get that link dropped in there as well. But it's pretty easy, right? Callofdutyendowment.org. With that, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. Have a great one. Remember, if we don't take care of each other, something went wrong.